Hello everybody, Jurassic Player here, and today I'm going to be showing you a clone. Why? Because it was free. And so, uh, yes, it is the R4i Gold Plus for 3DS, uh, what else? Blah, 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 I don't care. Um, it's from the, come on, focus. R4ids.com Um, here's the original, well, the clone flash cart, the other clone flash cart, which is the, uh, the R4i gold that you should try to get. And, uh, there's very little difference. Um, you can see right there, there's a little bit that just has parentheses and then, uh, blah, 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 and then, of course, the, uh, different website. R4IDS.CN um, Wow, this is wonderful. Totally is not focusing. There you go, CN. And um, yeah, they're, they're pretty much the uh, almost identical. Both have red PCBs. Um, some slight differences on the back too. The, uh, I guess for now I will call this one the original, even though it is not an original of anything. It is actually a clone. But, uh, it's easier to refer to it as an original compared to, uh, this clone. Which, uh, looks almost the same. It's just, uh, this one has some text. It doesn't have that weird six in the little corner right here. Um, the PCB is a little bit, uh, different colored on the bottom right there that you can see. And um, aside from that, they look pretty much the same. Uh, nothing really different here. So, um, I'm going to show you it. So, once again, gold plus. And uh, let's put that in my uh, DS here. So first thing that you will end up seeing is that the uh, if you if you know your flashcards fairly well, then uh, you will know that it's a TTDS clone. Um, you'll see a nice little picture on the top screen um, for the loading of uh, the micro SD. At least I think it was a top screen. Yeah, top screen. Um, it's a little bit different picture compared to the original TTDS one, which. By all means, if you want to change it, then feel free. Um, I quite actually like that icon because it looked kind of cool, or at least the, this one that comes with this uh, flash cart. And uh, I'm okay with that. Um, generally, most clone flash cards don't spend the time to do that, so props to them for at least that. Um, the actual UI is very, very peculiar. It is a mesh between... Um, multiple multiple things um as you can see on the top we have a uh, let's see here okay um we have my uh what are, what are they called the uh, nickname screen name sort of thing the uh name that you put on your ds whatever it is and then uh, it gives you the time the date or at least the month and then the year and then it gives you the month and the year and the date again and then uh it also has the calendar style uh, the theme itself isn't too bad. It's just a, a blue sort of airplane sort of thing. Uh, if you can't see them, there there's some airplanes here and here and all around. But uh, on the bottom screen, this is where all fun happens. Um, we see it's sort of like um, the Wood R4. Um, most of the UI seems to be taken from the Wood R4. Uh, UI and so um, we have the going up a folder on the top left on the top right we have start they don't seem to have a brightness button but maybe you can put it in I'm not sure I never checked but anyways uh, as you can see we have the file list and then uh, next to the file list is the uh, these strange four icons 
for every game. <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. And um, the icons are, um, let's see, in-game menu, soft reset, cheats, and options. <coughs> Ugh, wow. Um, yes, in-game options from, let's see, which way is that? Uh, from left to right. Um, let's see. Not really much to say about it. Um, okay, that was a fail on my part. Okay, um, so let's see what I'm going to do. Dang it. Come on, okay. Um, okay, so. Uh, right now I've turned on the, uh, the, uh, what, what is it, in-game menu. Which is most likely stolen from the Easy Flash. Um, these icon things are pretty much the same idea as on the, uh, TTDS. Um, which I never quite liked. Um, if you press select, um, it changes. Um, so that's that's just like um, the wood R4. Um, if you press start, start menu opens up. Um, they apparently have Wi-Fi update up data, which is supposed to be update, I suppose. Um, it has copy, cut, delete, paste. Um, nice additions. Uh, we have settings. Settings are fairly similar. There are no other settings apart from these though. So, uh, yeah, um, you can change the theme, uh, I'm just gonna leave it, you can change the language, um, you can change what, uh, files are shown, um, the file list type, or style, and, uh, let's see, we have the 12 hour clock, I'll change that, and then, what is this, key voice. Now I have absolutely no idea what key voice is. None at all. So I'm not gonna try and figure that out. Oh wait. Oh hey, I might have just found it out. Oh there we go. Well, if you can hear it, there's a there's a really soft sort of a uh, noise that comes along with every press apparently, and that's called the key voice. Uh, let's see if I can let you guys hear it. It's a very low, below um, tone, but it's cool. <laughs> That's one thing that I've never seen before. Props to them for that. I kind of actually like that feature. Um, or maybe I've seen it in Moonshell or Moonshell too. Um, but who cares? Um, so we have a uh, what is that? What was that? Um, file info. I'll go into that later. We have help. Help shows the uh, nice little help stuff. Most of them are the same as what are for, but uh, there are some different things. Um, I don't exactly know why they have this one L Y to enter system setup, um, but whatever. And then the start is wrong. Um, but it conveniently has the uh, soft reset keys and then the uh, turning cheats on and turning cheats off but it conveniently doesn't have how to get to the in-game menu <laughs> and so I had to look on the website for that and uh, I believe it was uh... Ooh, what was this? L... L R A B, I think? I think so and um... yeah it'd be kinda useful if that was added but, uh, they didn't. Uh, continuing on, we have tools. Tools is just the, uh, the three-in-one expansion settings. We have Rumble. And we have, uh, SRAM or RAM. And, uh, we also have the Wi-Fi update. 
thing, which is pretty much just a homebrew to update their their UI sort of thing, I suppose. I'm not going to press it because uh, I'll have to restart the DS, and that's stupid and useless. And I doubt they'll actually give very many updates at all anyways. So it's probably going to be a useless feature. But yeah, um, if you press Y, it shows you the same file info thing. Um, you can press X to go to the settings for the game, which are uh, right here. I'm not going to go in depth about any of this because all these options are available with the Wood R4. And so if you want to know about them, just check the Wood R4 video because I don't want to go through it again. Um, we have cheats. Wonderful. We have cheats. And um, that's it. And uh, so if I uh, press for cheats, dang it, I can go straight to the cheats uh, menu. And uh, let's see, what am I going to do? I'll just press that one. And oh shoot, I almost forgot. There's also a switch you have to toggle for cheats. If you see that up there, cheats on, cheats off. Oh, dang it. There we go. Okay, I'm failing bad. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, you can see the cheats are on now, and uh, the icon turns on. Also another blue icon. And, um... Let's see, there, what, uh, what was it? Alright, uh, um, no. What else is there? Oh yes, if we press X, it goes to an unchangeable favorites folder. Wonderful. The folder is hard-coded, apparently, to system apps. And it gives you these wonderful folders already. It has mail and MSN and net. All of which are just different homebrew that are stuffed in there. Not useful in any way, but whatever. And, um... I guess I'll show you that it loads something. Um, this is a DSTT clone, so, um, most likely it will be able to use Wise Menu. Just kind of guessing there. But, um, it does use the files from Wise Menu. So, uh, I don't know why it does that. That's, like, almost completely useless. It swaps the screen, and then uh, you have a little loading bar down there. The uh, standard uh, TTDS loading bar. And uh, you can see that this one works. This game works wonderfully. Um, uh, let's see. I think it was select to uh, give me 99 coins or something. Uh, wait, how do I get out of here? Yes, please. I'm not exactly sure where the coins are supposed to be shown. Um, so I have no idea. Supposedly I'd also have to turn on these cheats using the buttons, but I can't do that so well. Um, so I'm going to try and go to the, uh... Well, that didn't work. Wonderful. So, me trying to go to the end game menu just froze it. Um, so I guess I can't show that. That's great. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So if you go to the very top, you have uh, your standard R4 style sort of thing. We have uh, games, moonshell, and then apps on the side. The apps is the same apps folder that I showed you earlier, the uh, hard-coded favorites. And uh, aside from that, there's nothing else. Not, yeah, just nothing else. Um, it uses xinfo, uh, infolib.dat, and I believe I also saw savelib. So um, if you use a uh, YS menu, you know exactly what to do. Um, if you don't, then uh, look up Retro Game Fans uh, YS menu updates. 
um, and uh, take the files from there and uh, it should work for the most part and uh, yeah wood r4 will not work on this no version of wood r4 will uh, the wood kernels do not work with this flash cart at all don't ask don't try it it won't work period um Oh, right. Uh, cool thing. They have the latest version of Moonshell, too. So they have the uh, Child Zwei version, or Zwei, Zwei, whatever. And uh, I think that's pretty neat. Um, you don't usually see uh, flashcard people uh, put the latest and greatest to Moonshell. They just put the whatever one was latest when they uh, released it. But this one's the latest, greatest Child Zwei version. You can tell by this. They have all of this. Everything here. Um, I don't know if it has the update to, uh, fix, um, fix the, uh, little bug about, uh, videos hanging at the very end and whatnot, but, uh, they do have the, they, they do have the update, or at least the Child's Y update anyways, so props to them for that as well. Um... Let's see, uh, here, it came in this box, it came with this thing. This is the deluxe version, apparently. Um, I won it some time ago on GBA Temp. Uh, shameless plug to GBA Temp, by the way. Check that out, my awesome shirt, GBA Temp. Yeah. I'm not actually sure if you can see that or not. I don't really care. But, um, it was back when we were supported by etcom dot, or etcom, et, etcom dot com, or whatever. They actually gave a nice card to go with this package, and, uh, and they also have a, their, uh, logo on the sticker. It's, uh, So, cool little um, nifty things that nobody cares about. And uh, we aren't even supported by Etcom anymore. Or Etcom, Etcom, whatever. GBA Temp does not support it anymore because some random thing, I have no idea what occurred. And uh, yeah, we don't like them anymore. So I don't like them anymore. So don't buy from them because this is a crappy flashcard and there's no reason why you should buy it at all. Unless, unless you want... The mystical, the magical case. This is a pretty neat case. I've never seen this before. It's actually kind of cool. When I opened it, I was actually pretty um, astounded by this. Um, in no way is it extremely amazing. <laughs> but uh, the, the flash card came inside here. And uh, can you have any idea what this is for? <laughs> this is actually supposed to be a stand for your DS how completely awesome is that it's a completely useless yet still awesome stand for your DS um, I don't exactly know how many people would find this useful but it's there also it comes with this um, this is of course the deluxe version it has this for uh, flashing the latest firmware onto your flash cart. Um, all you need to do is put, uh, I believe it was an update.bin on your flash cart, the root of your flash cart on or the micro SD, and then put it in this. And then you just, uh, let's see here, uh, which way is this? Okay. We just put it face down. Just shove that in as far as you can go. There you go. Then you just plug it into your um, your computer. Leave it there for a while, apparently, and then uh, and then it updates. I've actually have not updated this. I have no idea why not. But uh, I guess I can always make that another video. And um, the alternative is using just a regular .nds file, which is also just as good. There's no real reason why you need to get the deluxe version if you ever get this at all, which I suggest you don't. 
and especially not from Etcom or Etcom, whatever. I don't suggest you get it, because it's don't. It's just lame. It's a TTDS clone. It's useless. Yay! Of course, um, I believe it was I think thirteen, fourteen dollars around there. Um, I wouldn't suggest you get it even then, because even though you may think it's cheap, there is the actual R4i gold, which is supported by, um, Wood R4, and, uh, it costs about the same, and it's better. So, uh, yeah, uh, here, here's the, uh, the casing it came in, so, uh, I can show you that. Woohoo! So, stick that in there, and then, uh, this was in here. And then that was closed, and that was like that. Yeah, it was pretty much just like that. Well, flattened down a little bit, but yeah. The uh, funny thing I noticed was that, as you can probably tell by this case, and how I only have this stuff right here, it doesn't come with a micro SD reader. <laughs> Which means if you bought this, you'd have to also buy a micro SD reader. Luckily enough, I have this one, these two, and these two other ones right here. But yes, it doesn't come with it, which is slightly surprising, seeing as uh, most flashcards seem to come with it. But, whatever, I had extras, I'm okay. Um, what else can we do about this? Um... It supports M uh, SDHC. That's always great. Um, it's made in China. It has the MSN logo for no reason. Hey, but it does support recycling. Hey, it supports recycling. Uh, come on. Oh, that's so lame. What is the wrong with this camera? I don't want to focus. Yeah, there you go. Sports recycling. So, recycle this flash cart. Toss it into a recycle bin. Don't toss it in the trash. Don't burn it. Don't crack it in half. Toss it in the recycle bin. And, yeah, that's, that's about it. Uh, it also says something about double cracking mechanism. Who knows what that is? Um, soft reset does work. Um, I tried it once. It might not work for everything, but I tried it once and it worked. I'm going to consider it working. On the other hand, I tried the, the uh, in-game menu once. You saw it and it didn't work. So I'm going to say that one doesn't work. But um, that's about it. Um, there's nothing else I can really say about this uh, flashcard. I mean, it is a clone. Generally, clones mean that it's been taken from somewhere. And, uh... Aside from the slightly different UI, and of course these nice little sound effects. That sound effects thing is really pretty neat. Um, aside from those, there's nothing really amazing about this flash cart. I would never suggest it, ever. But, I got it for free. And it does work. It technically does work. Um... Not something I would buy for anybody, but uh, seeing as I have it, I could probably just give it to somebody. Probably one of my relatives or something. Um, they would never know. Yes. But um, anyways, thanks for watching. This has actually been really long. Most of my clone videos seem to be very, very long. I don't understand why. But um, yes, thanks for watching. And um, I hope you maybe enjoyed watching this. Hopefully it informed you in some way. Uh... No, probably hasn't. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, hope you'll watch whatever I have next. Uh, that's it. See you later. I guess. That comes sucks.